Many of you will choose to defy, refute, dispute the word of Yah, the word of Jesus Christ, because you don't see the reward in it. Let's talk about it. What's going on Closer to God Ministries? Welcome back to another Righteous Spirit-Filled episode. Today, I hope to get you closer to the truth, closer to the kingdom, and closer to God's will. Man, we live in a rewards-based society. Everything that we do, you know, if we put in the work, we hope to see a positive or greater reward or a positive outcome. But when you look at the life of somebody living righteous, they're going to be content with things that most people would not be content with. They're going to understand simple, uh, simple scriptures that tell us to live a certain way while everybody else will ignore it, will choose not to live their life that way. And it's because they're focused on the reward. I want you to understand that by me living righteous, I am preparing for death and I am living my life as a sacrifice because one day the reward that I hope to be a part of is to get into the to the kingdom of heaven and have eternal life that my spirit will live on even though my flesh you know is still going to be here in the present going to be six feet under and a lot of times man in my younger years i was always you know reward based and when you look at kids playing sports when you look at kids doing different uh recreational programs and things like that people oftentimes Kids oftentimes get in the mentality that, you know, if they don't get a trophy, then there is no value to all the work that they put in. And I want you to know that in living righteous, even though you may not get the trophy that you want in earth, every day that you wake up and have breath and life in your body, that's a trophy in itself because some somewhere, somehow, in some shape, form, or fashion, there's somebody that didn't wake up this morning, whether or not you realize it or not. And just being able to get up, give you this word, you know, get you guys focused on God, get you guys focused on Christ is a blessing in itself. That is a big enough trophy. And when you look at people that don't want to do anything selfless, that don't want to volunteer their time, you know, usually they don't think that it's worth their time because there is no reward in it, reward in it. And living righteous is not about that. You know, you should be willing to get out into the community and help those that that don't have and, you know, help the less fortunate and things like that. But many of us won't do that. We'll say we're too busy and X, Y, and Z, and we'll continue to fill our day up with things that produce a reward, you know, at the end of the week, at the end of the month and things like that. And I'll tell you, for me, things like that have become less important, less significant in my life because in everything I'm doing, I'm focusing on God. And I know for a fact when I get bad news and I say glory to God, people don't understand that. Or when people try to deliver me bad news and I say glory to God, they don't understand why I'm rejoicing in that manner. Like I said, man, we live in a rewards-based society that is not focused on righteousness, not focused on God. We may be focused on religion, but the way we live our lives doesn't show indicative to us actually focusing on God and obeying his word. So I want you to try something in this new year. Everything that you are doing and you're saying I'm sacrificing in order to reach this goal or I'm trying to manifest this goal, I want you to do what it is that you are supposed to do, whatever it takes for you to reach that goal and forget about the award. Forget about the awards you're going to get, the accolades, the credentials. Forget about it and see the amount of prosperity you gain by doing that. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out the link in the description because I'm only shooting it gun barrel straight. Wow.